okay, this topic here is a head scratcher. All right, we didn't we didn't talk to R. Kelly to death. And just when you think there can't be any more, there's more. Since he's been on lockdown, since uh, he was uh, declared guilty back on September the 27th, album sales have grown by 500% after this conviction. Um, what happened was he's seen double-digit gains in streams and triple growth in sales. What the hell's going on, man? People nosy. They want to listen, see if they can find something they may have missed that would have told him, told them that he was doing some dirt. People nosy as fuck trying to go back. Oh, if you listen to this one song, oh, I knew he was talking. I should have known it. You didn't know nothing. You ain't go know nothing. You fucking assuming. Leave the shit alone. He made good music. Everything. Oh, I can't listen to him. He was writing about little girl. You don't know that. You don't know how his mind works. You assuming just has something to talk about. Either like the music or get on. Like they say, either shit on the pot or get the fuck on. One of the two. Which one is it going to be? Well, you know every dollar that he gets is going to the attorneys and uh, civil suits and all that. So, unfortunately, he's not going to see a dime of that. People are uh, paying his court fees. That's what they're doing. You know, this This was so crazy about it. Re let, cut all the bullshit aside. He could be rich tomorrow if he wanted to. He could be re-rich, to put it like that. If Tina Turner can sell her catalog for like, I think, 50 mil or some shit like that. It is 50. We'll get to that next. Imagine what he could sell his catalog for. You know what? It's not even about the catalog. Um because right now I don't think anybody would, you know, buy anything because I think those sales will, will dwindle. Here's no. what I think he'll do. He could write a book when he gets out or prior to that, and that's how he's going to make money. If there's one thing I've learned about America, America is a very forgiving country. No. It, it, I, yes and no. Reason why I say the catalog of sale. You go play, I believe I can fly tomorrow. Who go turn it off? Remember, he's turning shit at the fucking Olympics. That song right there is going to get dollars. He has songs here, songs there that people don't deny that they'll want to listen to. Well, yeah, people will want to listen to it at parties. People will want to listen to it at events. And those are the songs that you can sell and put in movies and commercials. Go uh, look like that I, now, that's where I stop you. They won't be in movies, it won't be in commercials, it won't be on TV, because you've got too many people in this cancel culture world, which we will also get to later, that will boycott it because it has an R. Kelly song in it. I disagree. I disagree on that, because if Harvey Weinstein movies are still on Netflix... Ah, but he's the producer. You don't see him, you don't hear him. You see his name at the beginning and the end of every movie. You know you're watching a Weinstein feature. People are that shallow to where they will leave because of that. If they'll still see his movies, R. Kelly's song could be in a movie somewhere in the background making money. You can't tell me if you don't play Step in the Name of Love in a room full of black people, they ain't going to start dancing. Just certain uh, songs I'm not just, saying that. You're right about that. But you're also talking about pre-existing stuff. Harvey Weinstein will not produce anything now. R. Kelly cannot sell anything now. Pre-existing stuff, okay, I got you. Future Arthur stuff, Weinstein not so much. Will still produce because he got fools like Jay Z that's buying shit from him. That I bet, some way, shape, or form, you look, you still go see his name on there. Hey, hey, if he can pull that off, that is one of the Trumpiest Trump things I've ever seen. Oh yeah, because they, you know, they, they, what Jay Z and the team, he was only a bought some. Bought, I guess, like his company or some shit or whatever. Same way I'm sure Russell getting something on the back end from Def Jam still. I'm sure Harvey's probably still getting something too. So it's just certain people have the right people to make that money keep going for them by the way they set up them contracts. You may think you don't want, yeah, we got this with pennies on the dollar. Then you read that final print. 
oh, this motherfucker getting royalties, you know, through this way or whatever. It's kind of like how this one I learned from Shark Tank. You either want to give away royalties or a percentage of your company if you want them to invest. So don't think Harvey ain't getting something. That's true.